I'm Chris Kubal. Thanks for stopping by WeAreIowa.com. Let's take a look at that local five forecast and finally some semblance of winter to be had. Now, not exactly for central Iowa, but a winter weather advisory up north, winter storm warning into South Dakota and the early goings of some developments entering the western reaches of the state. That is a winter weather advisory. I think that's for a second round of uh, precip that gets going our way into early Friday. First things first tonight, a cluster of showers moving through central Iowa uh, around a quarter of an inch or less in most locations. And in southern Iowa, there may be some spots that miss out. This is uh, mostly a northern lean on this system as it moves through. We'll call it from about eight o'clock through two o'clock or window of opportunity. Temperatures cooling, but warm enough to be supportive of rain in central Iowa. A few lucky locations in northern Iowa, mainly north of Highway 20, may see a couple of snowflakes fly, but little to no impact coming from that. You'll start to run into accumulations closer to the Minnesota border and across that border further into the state. Snow is in for everyone early on Friday, so here's the breakdown with future cast for that. First, this first disturbance coming through, a cluster of rain sliding through, and then early Thursday morning, it's wrapping up up to the north. You saw that blue, but really on our northern edge, so say towards Pocahontas and Humboldt and getting into right and front. Franklin County's way up north along Highway uh, th Three Corridor. Continuing on, clear skies for much of Thursday, but late the clouds enter and you start to see a band of snow moving through by the time those temperatures are cool enough. Now a couple things to consider. We have been so warm, but we are leading into this one with a colder day and we'll also be seeing this snow fly through the entire overnight. So there's not very many mitigating effects with this round. So I think most of this is going to stick on the ground and create some travel impact. So how much snow? We all want to know. It is looking like that first round. We could see a faint little dusting on grassy areas up north into north central Iowa, as I mentioned. But with the second round, there's going to be a swath of about one to three inches, about 60 miles wide, cutting through central Iowa. Right now, I think this does include the Des Moines Metro. But as you move outside of this band, it does trail off to less than an inch. Either way, I do think there's some travel troubles on the Friday morning commute. Other than that, not looking at much of a mix potential here. A slight little bit of a breeze, but nothing too significant. 28 is the call for the overnight low tonight. We'll warm up only to 42 on Thursday. That's a drastic reduction on those temperatures day over day. Briefly cooler through Saturday, but then right back up through the 50s early next week. We won't see too much of an impact lingering with that snow on the ground as far as the temperatures. And while there is a little bit of a dip in those readings for the end of next week, even still into the 40s, that's well above normal for the time of year.